Hey everybody, I'm back for day two uh, for my unboxing of a full case of the Bloom Dolls. Uh, if you wanted to check out yesterday's, um, I will post a link to the bottom here. Um, or you can just look up my account and check it out. Um, we opened May, I believe. Uh, this one, I don't know. Now, from what I've been hearing, they're all the same color pots, but I guess we'll find out um, sooner or later. We should get one other different color one out of all these. But um, I'm going to start babbling and I'm going to get the first. Now, the first roll off, I need to grab some tape, um, some scissors. Well, I'm about to call somebody wrong because uh, it's a different pot. <laughs> uh, this one is yellow all the way through. And the one that we opened in our last video, I'm just going to give you a little close look, was pink. So I don't know if that has something to do with its rarity. Because the one that we got before was an outrageous. Maybe this could be... Um, more of a super rare or something, but, um, so far the pink ones have been the only ones I've been seeing online, so I'm very curious to get this open and see what's inside of it. Um, so I, do I have to cut this or will it come off? Let's just come off. I think I have to cut it. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so after I, it's actually taped. You have, there's two pieces of tape on each side and it will come off. It's just a top, and it's a cute little heart that says Bloom on it. It's it's a detail that didn't need to be added, but it was added there. Uh, after you take that off, you get or your squeezy watering can, which is pink like the last one we had. I think the design's the same, too. Yeah, so the, I'm assuming going to assume that they're all... Yeah, they're all going to be pink watering cans. You can see them already. And then you get your checklist, and then you have the top layer that you have to peel off, and this is in red. Is the other one in red, too, or is the other one in pink? I'm very here. No, it's not even the same. No, it's not. Well, maybe it is the same. Uh, I'm confused. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. So, but this layer comes off here. You just take this off um, ever so slightly, hopefully. Mine's having a hard time coming off. Oh man, it's really stuck on there. Maybe this is going to be a good one. Um, and the stickers are different. Um, I was told by everybody else the stickers were the same. So maybe the playset is different on the inside, too. Uh, this one we have a um, Pileo, Pileo Pila, Pila plant. Um, this is a Monstera. And then we have a little Ladybug sticker. And then we have our Mira. And then we have another um, portrait here for um, three different other girls. So maybe the girls on here have something to do with the girls inside. I didn't think about that, but maybe that's a clue. Okay, did we got our we got our water. Okay, here we go, guys. Okay. Oh, oh, we're getting something. It's blooming, I think. See guys, here comes. Oh, it looks like something purple's coming out. This is so awesome! <gasps> is this one of the rock ones that I really wanted? Oh my gosh, guys! I think this is a super rare. Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm pretty sure this is her. I'm pretty sure this is um. So I get this to show up on the camera because I'm pretty. Oh oh oh! It's popping out. I'm pretty sure this is Gemma. This is one of the ones I really wanted when I first saw the checklist. I'm so excited! Oh, oh no, maybe it's not Gemma. Maybe it's not. Okay, no, it's not. Um, it is... Celine. But, it's okay. I'm not upset. So Celine has a darker complexion than the one we had before. A little more bronze. And uh, her hair is like a crystal, like this crystally um, blend of pink and purple, and then it goes to purple hair. And then she has a lavender eyeshadow, lavender eyes, and the eyeshadow, the lavender eyeshadow has the same look as the green eyeshadow that we saw in our previous girl, except for uh, you know it's in lavender, and it's you can see that it's done in leafy. I like that. I like that look. Uh, she's wearing a black bathing suit, a bikini. 
Uh, of course, like the last girl, uh, her articulation, her hands go up and down. Uh, she can sit, her legs go up and down. And her head goes back and forth and up and down. So that's pretty cool. And she also has a removable hair. Let's just see if we can pull that off and uh, show you what it looks like underneath. So it just pulls off. And then underneath, she's got herself a little bun, a little lavender bun. She looks a little bit goofy, but not really. I think that she would display nice without her wig. Or, I, yeah, I'm going to call it a wig. Without her wig. Um, if they had a little display stand where you can display their wigs and display them, she would probably stand up a little bit better on her stand. But I'm just saying. Um, there are her feet. They have little holes in the bottom of them. So you can put her in her stand. She has no toes. That's okay. We still love her. Um, so let's see. Yeah, we're getting a little bit far ahead of ourselves. We don't even know what outfit she comes with. So, um, we pull out this. Oh, our Kona Shane fell off. Okay, so we pull out this right here. Which is kind of hard to pull off, but this, this whole shell just pulls right out. So I'm going to pull it off off camera. Whew, that's hard to pull out. These are 3+. plus. Um, I think they're 3+. plus. Yeah, so you might want to have a, an adult try and help you pop that hoop out. It's really hard, and it kind of hurts your fingers a little bit. But anyhow, we got that open. So now we unhinge this, and it's going to show us our little playset world. And I think if I believe... if I Yep. So it's this is what got a pink interior, and our last one had a blue interior. So not only are the shells different on the outside, and the sticker's different... The inside's different, so I'm going to call this a new playset. Um, granted, the other playset did have um, the same setup here. Just, it's a different color. So let's pull that off. Probably wasn't supposed to all come off there. But I'll set that aside. Uh, so we have... Um, it looks like a purple tank top, bikini tank top, and black booty shorts, and ooh, we got boots, it looks like. So she's punk rock. Get the boots out here. The boots always come in, or the shoes always come in the bottom of the uh, armor, and then the clothes come on the top. So we got these cute little boots. Not too much to them. Uh, they're boots. You can see the uh, imprint of lacing on them. Uh, no paint de detail or anything, but I guess it's not really needed. Um, same with the top. The top's purple. It's got some cool um, swirlies in it, and it looks like it's supposed to have a, like a lace look to it. So we got that. And then in here is going to be our pet, or our little side character. I haven't figured out what they're actually called. But uh, get that out there. It's a little hard to open in that part to get out with one hand, but, um, so I'm just going to dump it out. I'll be right back. So this is who we got for our side character here. Um, it's a little heart, um, especially probably supposed to be a gemstone, a heart gemstone with feet and a face. These little side characters are not much of a detail at all, but they're a cute little throw in they're a cute little side figure. Um, I always love it when my characters have pets or sidekicks so this little stump over here this comes off and this is going to be the stand on the inside um also i noticed that the stand uh is the same color as the color scheme going on in here which is the same thing with the um other girl that we opened so what did i say her name was shoot this is celine okay Selena's an adorable. Are they all adorables down there, though? Yeah. And then you take the tape off of the stump, you pull out the stand, and then her, her purse is inside. This one's going to cool hers. You can either go on her shoulder or she can hold it. Um, it is just fully pink, if you guys can see that. Um, with a little bit of strap detail. Not bad. 
Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get our girl set up, our Celine set up, and then we will come back to the playset. Okay, so I got our girl all put together here. Her shorts kind of annoyed me just a tad bit, because her shorts, if you can see that, they go together kind of like a, um, LOL doll, and they, they just don't fit her hips right. They just kind of fall down. I'm, I'm waiting for them to fall off completely. So, kind of poor execution on that. I don't really like them at all, but I like her look a lot. She's very punk rock, like, but glam. She's very glam. <laughs> so, here is her, the inside of her uh, pot. I decorated that for her. Uh, we have our um, Monstera over here on the clothing rack, and then we have um, a picture of three of her BFFs, and then we have a ladybug inside there, and then we have... Um, are hanging Pila. And of course we have our watering can. Uh, when you turn her upside down, I went ahead and put the sticker on the bottom of her stand. I'm not really much on putting stickers on things. I usually put them aside and save them, but hey, you know, <laughs> I'm going to do it all up. So her butterfly mirror is on the bottom. Now if I want to, I can take that stand off and press it right back into here to this, this hollow looking tree. And and then we can uh, turn it back into a Mara for the playset. They unfortunately don't really fit right back in here. Like, this is really basically, I hate to say it, a throwaway playset. <laughs> it doesn't hinge back up after, and it's very flimsy once it's taken apart. But I think it's a lot of fun. I love the gimmick on these dolls. They seem to be executed pretty well. I mean... Besides the fact that the pants kind of had a malfunction on this girl, um, I love her. I am so glad to add her to my collection. And I can't wait to uh, see you guys tomorrow for video three. <laughs> Alright, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.